Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today it's a time for me to speak about the Warpath changes which have been one of the best changes I have ever seen in Call of Dragons. The feature got changed so much that it's a totally different mechanics, different systems. So in order for us, for free-to-play players to understand how we can utilize the system, um, I, I will try my best to explain everything as simple as possible. First of all, we need to understand that developers of the Call of Dragons made the Warped system much, much easier to understand much easier to much easier to access and to progress throughout the game right first of all what got changed uh, the levels of the warpets are not um, like accessible for now like there is no levels uh, like we can't generally max out the warpets well before it was kind of hard to max out the levels of the warpets because you needed to farm uh, with the heroes and in general, after the introduction of the Warpets, like only one uh, Warpet which I got to the max level was Sapphire Fair Drake. That actually says how hard it was to level up the heroes. The attribute systems, uh, like before it was uh, shown us uh, how much attributes were adding up for every single level. It was showing up in pluses, but for now... Uh, you can actually see what's your current strengths, your agility, your intelligence. Like, this is the way better for player who is just starting the game. And even for uh, players who are playing this game for a while to understand what these attributes actually does. And how important is it, is it for a Warped to have uh, at least like a couple of S tier attributes. Because these attributes actually attach to the skills. Uh, and the attributes are making skills even better, right? Like simple demonstration is that like, for example, Pain Bloom uh, is determined by intelligence and more intelligence I will have on Sapphire Frederick, more powerful this Pain Bloom skill will be. Of course, we need to understand that there is only three same attribute skills we can attach to per uh, Warpet, which means like... Having a high amount of intelligence for this warpet will add up to the pain bloom damage. It will add up to the forceful pain bloom effect, and also will add up to the follow up uh, skill chances. So, like attributes are one of the most important aspects of the warpet system, and simply because they made it easier for us to understand what actually these attributes does, is a good change in my opinion. Uh, Another change which is like for the people who for whom who it's hard for them to understand how to build uh, the warpet in general is in a skills tree whenever you're gonna click on this small icon uh, you will see the uh, warpet build which is giving uh, us from the developers which I think is quite good like if we're gonna think about the Sapphire Fedric the magic fighter skill warpet uh, the core skills of course is pain bloom and recommended skills is actually good so i think you can generally use this uh, template uh, that's what i can call uh, follow up super follow up and ruthless follow up is a great skills for the any magic uh, warpets and of course resonance uh, like warped magic skill damage deal bonus like in general this addition for the warpets for the players to understand what would be the a better version of the skills build up is a great addition in my opinion well it makes my job way easier because i don't have to make a one by one guides for every single warped build uh, that's why you guys should uh, like actually know where you can check the skills which are getting recommended to us which is again ui change made uh, like uh, building warpets way more easier so like george accepts these kind of changes the most important change which we actually have after the update is that we can actually upgrade the stars of the skills uh, of the warpets and also it got way easier for us to uh, get the talent skills of the warpets by uh, like uh, making them to live. How we can upgrade the skills of the talent, right? That's the most important question right now after the update. Uh, like it's it got like 10 times much easier for us to make an even powerful warpet than it was before 
For example, on this warped I have Snow Peak Rock, and the main skill of the Snow Peak Rock is Concentration. As you can see, my Snow Peak Rock's main skill does not have any stars, and like the stars of the skills are the main point of the whole system, in my opinion. After the update, we can actually upgrade the star of the uh, talent. Uh, which is pretty easy you're gonna click on the concentration you're gonna go to skill upgrade and this is a new tab which we got after the update uh, for example in order for us to upgrade uh, the star of the skill we need to have a same skill uh, like four same skills for example as soon as i will get one more concentration and i will have four concentrations i will be able to upgrade this concentration to the one star for the future reference, if you already have a one star main skill, like for example Pain Bloom, I would need one star for Pain Blooms to upgrade this uh, Pain Bloom to two star. And like difference is really really huge in terms of damage, in terms of any kind of stats whenever we are speaking about these stars, right? Of course, we can also get one star skills and even multiple star skills by just capturing the beast on the battlefield and getting lucky that's like generally random and i like this kind of random uh, whenever you can make it by your own by just collecting the skills and also maybe sometimes you will get lucky and you will be able to get two star main skill or even one star which is quite lucky also so this is the newest update which we can which we got after the warped changes which i think have been the best update which we have ever got regarding warpets uh, like uh, some people thought that it would be like generally more helpful for pay to win players but i actually think opposite like collecting uh, skills in this game is a even better option to have fun and i think this update gave us a lot more fun in general also you can simply just multi upgrade like every single skill which you can have with just one click if you have at least four of the same skills on the warped, uh, like and like it's it made just in general the system way more easier for a free-to-play player to upgrade at least uh, like one warped to the maximum, right? As always, uh, like yeah, at the end of the video, I will say my advices for a free-to-play players. Uh, like I have made a couple of videos how free-to-play players should make a decisions regarding the game. Let's say you are a mage player and you are playing uh, with mages in general. Sapphire Fair Drake and uh, Shadow Fair Drake are the main and most important uh, magic unit uh, warpets in the game. So let's say Sapphire Fair Drake, right? Don't try to upgrade every single other skills on other warpets to make it like to spread these skills. Like you can look at this skills upgrading feature as a. Uh, like upgrading heroes levels uh, for the heroes right there is like um, there is not unlimited amount of uh, skills which you can upgrade through this system uh, for example here we can see that we can only have five two star uh, skills skills in our, on our warpeds 35 one star and only three stars three star three skills uh, which we can currently have which means we need to prioritize uh, in order for us to make our legions even stronger let's say you are mage player right you should prioritize upgrading sapphire drake you should be up prioritizing making shadow fair drake even stronger so it will be better for you to upgrade the stars of the warpeds which you will actually use it right let's say you are marksman player you will be prioritizing snow peak rock you will be prioritizing night rock and you will try your best to upgrade those skills like especially talent skills to multiple stars that's how you can get generally best value out of these changes and like let's say you are infantry player you will be prioritizing frost bear uh, for the meddling for example maybe you want to have a garwood and stripe bear you will be prioritizing stripe tri bear to un to upgrade these stars of the friendship so generally again we have to make a decisions in regards of the warped system uh, because there is not unlimited amount of skills which we can upgrade to the multiple stars so if you are mage player try to upgrade major skills which will be helpful for you and in general whenever you are going to catch the warped try to understand that 
the amount of skills actually matter, right? Let's say you are you catch the warped and you have only two skills. Let's say you have only beast mark and you have only exuberance. Uh, and whenever you're gonna be able to uh, like make the warped leave, uh, you have a 50% chance of getting the talent tree, right? So try to uh, like whenever you will have a two, two only two skill warped catched, you should be pretty happy about it because there are a higher chance for you to uh, get the talent skill, which is like the most important skills for every kind of warped, right? Of course, you can try something like uh, regeneration. Uh, you will regenerate uh, the warped until you will have only two slots uh, accessible and every other slot will be closed. Again, it's, it makes you to waste a lot of regeneration potions, but uh, maybe you get super lucky and you get like exuberance to two star and you have like couple of uh, skills currently, which I have. Uh, you, the only way for you to make your chances higher in terms of getting the two star exuberance, for example, is to regenerate to get lucky until you will have only like maybe one uh, skill left which which is left on the warped and other skills are kind of locked and like you are trying your best to make your chances higher like less skills you will have on your warped whenever you will make your warped leave the higher chance will be to get the desired skill which you have which, which you actually want uh for the warped so we can we have a multiple ways to play around the warped system so far i really really like the changes like giving us the opportunity to and un to increase the stars of the skills is a another fun way of playing the game uh like it, it got much more uh, easier for us to make uh, and build the warped currently as you can see my best build uh, Warpet is Sapphire Frederick, like amazing current attribute skills. Of course, these skills are great. So far, they are one star, but I will try my best to make uh, like at least Pain Bloom to second star. And in general, the six uh, slots, I think, is the maximum amount of slots. Uh, that's why my main talking point was Sapphire Frederick, because I wanted to show up, uh, show the Warpet, which I tried my best to build around. My second best warped, which I'm, uh, I'm I have built, is Snow Peak Rock for my Nico and Kinara. Uh, I like the stars of the skills. Of course, I'm 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 not changing the beast mark because I want to have a super concentration. Uh, like unfortunately, I don't have the maximum amount of skill slots in on this warped, but simply because the stats are so good. Uh, I don't want to waste the stats in order to get more uh, skill slots, right? Maybe in the future I will change my mind and I will have a different option uh, and different and like a lot more regeneration potions to try it many, many times. Now, another warped which I like currently is Venomous Lizard, especially for infantry. And uh, the like, as you can see, my main uh, building point whenever I'm starting to build a warped. Is that I need to have at least one star by catching the warped, uh, like one main skill to the one star, in order for me to understand that this warped is ready to be built. Uh, again, I don't have like great current stats, uh, current attributes like agility and the luck, uh, but strength, intelligence, and endurance are one of the most important attributes for Venomous Lizard. That's why I decided to build around. The uh, the one star infection and these attributes uh, that's why i chose to get the uh, counter strike synergy until the full like it generally feels great whenever you're gonna click on the skill and you have a lot of green green texts uh, on the skill it means that you are doing something right um, in my opinion this is one of the best change which we have ever had in the call of dragons in terms of free to play friendly uh, changes and making the game even more fun uh, I love the warped system in general, like even after the introduction, I had a lot of fun, fun, like if you are a player who likes to collect stuff, if you are a player who likes to build one specific warped, uh, you are going to love these changes. As always, share your opinion, it's always important for me to understand what do you think about the game, uh, and yeah, as always, if you like the videos, if you like the content, press like, subscribe, share, it always gives me more and more motivation to make the uh, best version of the videos for this amazing game called Call of Dragons. I hope you are having an amazing day, morning, night, night depending wherever you are. Um, I'm gonna see you very, very soon. Bye-bye and good luck.